doesn't love a birthday celebration? And the National Park Services is celebrating a big one. And our Rance Adams got an early look at the festivities. On August 25th, the National Park Service will be celebrating its centennial or its 100th anniversary. We are celebrating 100 years of preserving some of our country's most important natural and cultural resources. Any birthday is a milestone. Hitting that century mark, huge. That's what the National Park Service is, is celebrating this week. Having this organization around is very important for our future. What we do, we believe, is a very important mission, protecting these places and we want people to understand that these places are important, that they're worth preserving and protecting. And by celebrating this 100th birthday or this anniversary, we can highlight that message and bring more people into these parks to be able to explore and learn about these places. These places include all national parks across the country, as well as the fort where Amy and I are talking, Castillo de San Marco. Let's get historical. Construction on this fort started in 1672. It will be celebrating its 344th birthday this year. And it's important that we protect these places because we need to learn from our history. We need to be able to explore that history and to understand some of the legacies of the people. In that time, the fort has changed hands multiple times. First up. Well, the fort first started in 1672, or construction started in 1672. It was originally constructed by the Spanish, and it was designed to be a siege fortification. The idea was that if the town of St. Augustine were attacked, everyone in St. Augustine could move into this fort for protection. So initially it was a place of protection, a place of refuge for the citizens of St. Augustine. A lot of the rooms inside this fort would have been used for the storage of food and military supplies to sustain the town. Bet you didn't know that. The Redcoats rolled in next. The British will acquire the Florida Territory in 1763, and when the British come in, they will actually house soldiers here at this fort. About 500 British soldiers will live here at the Castillo, and they'll be here through the American Revolution. Then Florida was traded away like Maurice Jones drew. When the British lose the American Revolution, they will end up trading Florida back to the Spanish. The Spanish will come back into the area here for the second Spanish period before they eventually sell Florida to the United States was purchased by the U.S. in 1821 for the sum of $5 million. So let me get this straight. The whole state cost back then what this costs now. While your blown mind processes that amount of inflation, Amy will tell you about the gift the National Park Services is offering for their centennial. We're going to be having a free National Park entrance fee on um, August 25th, which is our anniversary, will be free, and we're free through the weekend. Um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as well. So we'll have four days that we have a fee-free entrance for all of our national parks throughout the country. This is a big milestone for us. Uh, this was something that we've been looking forward to and planning for a few years now. A four-day party across all 50 states? Let's light the candles and get it popping. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. That's just a great way to get everybody exposed to our park systems and the National Park Service will be offering free admission nationwide from Thursday through Sunday. We've got the details for you on our website, rivercitylivetv.com. Just click on the As Seen on RCL tab. We will be back.